Hi there! So, today I want to talk a little bit about scaly leg mites. Uh, if you've not had chickens or you're new to chickens, this is something you want to keep an eye out for. So, scaly leg mites, I'll show you. You can see right there, the feet aren't nice smooth scales. So those are very small organisms that have gotten up underneath the scales on your chicken's feet and they cause damage. They cause inflammation. They eat the, the chitin or whatever the scales are made of, I believe. So you want to make sure you treat them as soon as you realize you have them. Um, unfortunately, half of my little bantam coop here has them because these guys have feathered feet and it can be hard to notice it right away. So my suggested treatment for it is to use Elector PSP. Um, it can be a little cost prohibitive, so if you can go on eBay and find smaller bottles of it, that is what I did. And then you can tan it around and you have to mix it with water, but then I use a little two ounce spray bottle to treat them with their on their feet. Um, I think it was about every 7 to 14 days for retreatment, but this makes it a lot easier than some people say you use like dip them in Vaseline, trying to soak them. These guys don't like that. As you can see, she's not huge on being held at the moment, so I can take these little spray bottles and go to town on their feet and not worry about it being a super tedious job like it would be if I was using something like gasoline. Why are we so mad? Ah. <laughs> and in between treatments, what I was doing was using mineral oil. Because the mineral oil is supposed to act similar to how Vaseline would work and it would smother the mites. Well, Vaseline on feathered feet chicken is kind of messy. <laughs> so the mineral oil, I can do the same thing. I can put it in a spray bottle, I can pick up a chicken, I can hold them and spray their feet. It makes it a lot easier than trying to goop up Vaseline and then you get feathers and dirt in the Vaseline. I didn't want to deal with it. But that was my recommendation for dealing with the scaly leg mites. It's been working so far. This is the first time I've done this particular version of it. I haven't used the mineral oil before, but the Electro PSP has been really helpful. Um, you can also get permethrin spray from like Tractor Supply, but I have a farm cat and permethrin's active ingredient is not cat safe. So that's oftentimes what you see in like flea and tick liquid form for dogs. You can't use it on cats. So I don't want to have it on my clothes. I have a house cat too. I have a barn cat. I have a stray cat that goes in and out. I don't want the, the stuff getting him sick. So I just stick, stay away from it unless I like really, really need it, or I know it's a place the cats aren't going to be. So I've been using the Electro PSP. Hope that helps you.